a mother from Sakendrabad told me. She is a very praying lady. Her child is just second class studying in a very famous school in Sakendrabad. The child was 7 o'clock, they are supposed to be in the school. 6.45, the bus comes. Still 6.30, the child was sleeping. The son was sleeping. She woke him up, took the water to the bed, covered, washed him, put the... Everything the mother did. And he was ready, smart. He is alert that he is in the world. And then the mother took that feet, put the socks and put that in the as she was putting, the boy was crying, mommy mother gave to put first, but she says she heard the voice within her saying something is wrong in the boots but she's, she controlled that and said no, 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 it's time Send the boy. The boy was crying. And the uh, man in charge in the bus, he also gave to what you are crying. Sit there. He was crying, crying, and he was. The other boy thought he is sleeping. By the time the bus reached the school, everybody got down, not this boy. They lifted him up. He's no more. Inside there was such a huge scorpion that boots, small boots. She never even saw that. Yes, by no more. She says, I vaguely heard my mind telling me, spirit within me telling me, Something is wrong in the boots. But I never heard. God speaks to us. But when sin is in us, it blocks. Then she realized, I am a praying lady. God gives a vision. God gives a message. Why did I behave like that? Then she realized that she was angry and upset with her husband. She abused her husband and pushed him out of the bed that night, previous night. The previous day, the sin what she committed, when it came to her mind, she wept like a child. Father, I can't tell anybody what I am telling you. And wherever you preach, you tell what has happened to me without giving my identity. She wept like a child. Our body thinks it's nothing. I just, I can, somebody loves me, my husband doesn't love me, my wife doesn't bother me. I can do whatever I want and nothing will happen. No. The spiritual realities are much true than the earthly realities. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And when we sin, as the book of Sirach chapter 21 verse 2 says, like snake it comes and bites you. Snakes and scorpions are the sign of the enemy entering into our lives. You have to be very alert. You have to be very, very alert. Sin is not as simple as we think. Because the enemy, when he rules our lives, it makes us to think nothing is wrong. It's okay. If you read Sirach chapter 5, see, you kindly take. It is better that you go through. There are five things the enemy who is at work in our mind 
he says five things and tells it's okay tomorrow we can handle it kindly please read fast do not see that chapter 5 yeah do not rely on your wealth uh-huh. or say i have enough do not follow your inclination and so number 1 what with what we have satan will try to hide our sin you have wealth you have plenty to nothing to worry everything is okay ah it's okay it's not okay number 2 it will say you have your intelligence you can handle it okay it happened today tomorrow i will not do it no when ah when we have opened the door suppose now i have broke the window i have broke the window and i have put the curtain nothing is okay i have closed it but that is not a guarantee something can come inside we have put the window we have put the mosquito net that nothing can enter but if you open the window itself the window itself is removed yes that is what sin is but our intelligence says ah it's okay i have put a nicely curtain i even punched that curtains nothing will happen don't think ah uh, continue do not follow your in- inclination and strength in pursuing the desires of your heart do not say who can have power over me don't say ah uh, who is that after all it's my life i am it is mine who are you to ask who are you to say don't never say my life is mine it's my business it's my money it is my body it's my beauty what is for you please never say you are not your the lord has bought you for a price he paid a heavy price his love for you is so much he can't afford to lose you his breath is in you that's why he is mad after you yes continue do not say i have i sin yet what has happened to me another thing satan will bring ah yes i have sin what happened nothing happened ah that fellow is praying that fellow is also going through that problem i have sinned so what what happened to me nothing आए और चलता है सब लोगों को आता है जाता है होता है नेवर से आई सिंड व्हाट हैपन टू मी नेवर डेयर टू से दैट यस फॉर द लॉर्ड इज स्लो टू एंगर डू यू नो व्हाई इवन आफ्टर वी हैव सिंड द लॉर्ड इज पेशिएंट बिकॉज़ द लॉर्ड इज स्लो टू एंगर do not be so confident of forgiveness that you add sin to sin do not say his mercy is great he will forgive the multitude of my sins so some other people satan will prompt like that oh god is merciful even if i sin ah okay not seven times 77 times he said he will forgive le tar baat mein dekhenge no do not add sin after sin when a sin has entered into you be alert all that god has kept for you is blocked and all that of the enemy he start to flow into you his anger his pain his sickness his disturbance you are opening the door do not say what has happened to me and nothing please do not say that yes for both mercy and wrath are with him and his anger will rest on sinners do not delay to turn back to the lord and do not postpone it from day to day day to day for suddenly the wrath of the lord will come upon you and at the See, time most of us know only the compassion of god the mercy of god and most of the preachers love to give that one side of god that god is merciful 
God is compassionate. Yes, he is. He is merciful. We are his children. If he doesn't show mercy to us, to whom will he show? He doesn't want, as he says in Ezekiel 18.23, I don't want even a single child of mine to perish. Yes, he doesn't want. That's why he is after us. But there is other side, the terror of God. I'm sure you are matured enough. I can talk about that topic. There is a terror of God when we are in sin. God giving many, many opportunities. He leaves the people of Israel. Go as a slave to Babylonians. Go into the hands of Egyptians. Go into the hands of Persians. There you learn what is the meaning of without to God. When Moses, God is calling, telling Moses, go and talk to the rock, the water will come. Moses tells those people, you are making fun of me, come man, I will show who I am. Instead of honoring the Lord and obeying the word, he says, I will show who I am. Come on. In, in his tension with other people, challenging others, he forgot to listen to the voice of God. Earlier, first the Lord told him, take your staff, hit the rock, you will get the water. This time, God has told him, speak to the rock. So he went to there, and all took the staff and he was running. Everybody is running. Come on, let's see what this great Moses does. They are making fun of him. He was so angry, he was biting his teeth. And as soon as he, he reached the rock, instead of talking to the rock as the Lord said, he took the staff and hit it. No water, because that's not what God has said. And those fellows started to laugh. <laughs> Moses got so upset. Again he is hitting. God is merciful. Even when we have hurt, when we have sinned against him, God will humble himself to protect us in front of others. But when we are alone, he will tell us, you will die in your sin. Now, when he hit him, second time, God brings water out of the rock to protect his servant in front of others. And then, when everything is over, now Moses is so happy, huh? I approved. I am a great man. God says, come. You are an old man. You get unnecessarily angry. Stop here. I am not going to allow you to proceed. He says, what Lord? What are you talking? Do you know what you are talking? Forty years I struggled. I stood with the Pharaoh and brought them out and now you are telling me I will not go to the land of Cana. What is this? I have reached the border. Just I have to put my steps, that's all. The Lord says, I have said it, don't ask anymore. That is it. I have said it, don't ask it anymore. That's the story. Bus. Don't ask anymore. 